Hey, this is Hybrid here. This video is a quick walkthrough for a mapping which I've made for Tractor Scratch, Tractor Pro 3.5, in combination with the Allen & Heave Zone 4D. Um, I've made an earlier version for uh, Tractor 2.6.8. And uh, beginning this year, I uh, moved on from 2.6.8 to Tractor 3.5. And along the way, I changed my mapping um, to suit the way I play a bit more better. And uh, I'm going to share this mapping as well. Um, there are two things you need to know. Uh, that's one, you need to uh, put the zone unit to MIDI channel 1 and the second one is that you have to put it in tractor mode these two things I mentioned in the previous video so you can check that video out for now here we go let's start with the left jog wheel in the preferences you can save different layouts and by pressing the left jog wheel you can scroll through these layouts Pressing the jog wheel on the right side lets you open and close playlist folders. Loading a track can be done by pressing it in the direction you want the track to load. Up is deck A, down is deck C. Then these two encoders. Pressing the left encoder shows you the browser layout and performance layout. Rotating it lets you scroll through the browser tree. Pressing the right encoder enables the shift mode, which I'll come back to in a minute. Rotating the right uh, encoder lets you scroll through your playlist. Over to the transport section. Right is pause play. Next to that is enabling flux mode. Third from the right is sync on, sync off. The left button lets you enter the controls for deck D, which are the same as deck A. By pressing shift and the play button, you can enable the effects a unit number one. It lets you play with the effects. Over to the buttons. The two rows below are for the cue points one to eight. Set a cue point by pressing it. Delete it by pressing the shift and the according hot cue button. Over to the faders. Fader 1 uh, sets the tempo for deck A. Fader 2 is the tempo for deck C. Fader 3 is an effect which is disabled when all the way down. Same as for fader number 4. But before you use fader number 4, you first have to activate the preset for this effect. That is the button below the fader. It's a delay which you can use to fade out a track. Over to the top row of the encoders. Rotating the left encoder also lets you set the tempo of the deck A. If you press it, you set it to master. Second encoder adjusts the tempo for deck C and pressing it sets it to master. The third encoder lets you set the loop length and simultaneously lets you set the beat jump length. When you press it, you set the loop in according length. Rotating the fourth encoder lets you beat jump the selected length and pressing the encoder lets you activate an upcoming loop. Now for the less intuitive part, effects and stuff. The top left part lets you adjust the effect and this button activates the effect. It's a great effect if you want to grab a long sounding note. Uh, you uh, loop it by reverse craning it and eventually you can fade it away in an elegant way. Second part activates an effect by turning it to the right all the way to the left disables it. The third part is for activating and selecting the mixer filters. If you want to adjust the filter, you can do so by the part below it. The fourth part is the wormhole, which I really like. All the way to the left, left it is deactivated. 
all the way to the right, it is fully wet and activated. The first part of the lower row is free for programming. The second one is for activating an effect. The third one is for the mixer filter, filter as I mentioned previously. And the fourth part is also activating an effect while turning it to the right. The first button beneath the faders is for activating an effect in combination with the part above. The second button is for reverse play in flux mode. Third button isn't assigned. And the fourth is for activating the preset for the uh, fader number four. You can set the tempo range for all four decks by pressing shift and these four buttons. It goes from 100% to 35% to 20% to 12%. The right side of the mixer is almost identical to the left side. Only difference is the ability to trigger samples from the remix deck on deck D with the hot cue buttons. I implemented a feature which is a bit pioneer noise generator-ish. You need to drop a loopable sample of white noise in the first sample bank, open the fader for deck D, trigger it by turning this part to the right. The sample stops playing when the part is turned all the way to the right. Oh, and you need to activate the effects bank number 4 to give it a nice delay. Over to the jog. Uh, the right jog wheel press to the left activates the snap option using it with shift and pressing it you activate the quantize option and if you want to record your mix you can do so by pressing shift in combination with right clicking the jog wheel okay so well uh, that was my mapping good luck with it maybe it was useful if you're still watching, I'm kind of curious um, what you do with this mapping. I mean, do you uh, load it up, test it and make your own mapping? Or do you load it and you edit it to your own taste? Then you'd be quite a hero because um, I'm having difficulties finding my way through my own mapping. So that would be cool if you do that. Or you just use it and are okay with it. Let me know in the comments. For now, take care. Bye-bye.